is Dr. Ned Metziwe, and I would like to welcome you this morning on behalf of the Java family. I would like to welcome you this morning on behalf of the Changirai family. I would like to welcome you this morning on behalf of the Mutua family. I would like to welcome you this morning on behalf of the Ramonokasi family. On account of this great lady, Honorable Pastor Divine Changirai Java, who we have come to celebrate this morning. Amen, someone. Allow me, please, before we proceed, to invite Prophet Chibia to come and open in a way of prayer for us as we proceed. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are good. We thank you because you are God. We thank you, Father, that you are the one who is in control. You have all authority. Father, I proclaim the authority of the name of Jesus Christ in this place in Jesus' name. I call every spirit into submission to the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, we dedicate everything that is happening here until we have finished this program to you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and lead us now. Mositara Jesu. Mositara Jesu. Mositara Jesu. We submit to you, Holy Spirit. We are here to be led by you. May your hand print be upon all the proceedings today. We ask for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. We ask for the strength of the Holy Spirit. Let unity rule and reign. Let wisdom be in abundance. Father, look after your son, Basilai, today. We put him into your hands. As only you know what he's going through, only you know how to heal his heart. We thank you, Father, for the life of the Bible. We thank you, Lord, that we know where she has gone because she gave her life to you and she will be. We give you all the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Would you please kindly take your seats? I would like to acknowledge a number of key people who are here this morning. I have tried as best as I can to get a comprehensive list, but if I do omit to recognize you, please kindly forgive me. I have the list as best as I can. I would like to welcome this morning uh, Pastor Levi and Apostle Jarvis, Father, His Great Bishop Bismarck, and our man, Pastor Chichi Bismarck, we want to thank you for being here. We want to welcome you this morning. Let's go by honor. Please allow me to also welcome and acknowledge Archbishop Dr. Gurupira, who's here with us today and I. We want to thank you for being here this morning. I see there's uh, quite a number of pastors who are here. Thank you for coming, our friends from our world, uh, Pastor Glenis from South Africa, Prophet Passion from Los Angeles to be with his brother. Uh, I see quite a few pastors. Please allow me for the sake of experience to say all probable observed as far as our pastors and leaders are concerned. Dr. Chirisa, Apostle Jawa, Apostle Spidelis, uh, Prophet Chibia has just been here. And all other pastors that are here, we welcome you and we honor you this morning in Jesus' name. Allow me to move to the other space that uh, uh, Honorable Jala was involved with, it, which is the political space. First and foremost, allow me to welcome and honor the president of the MGC Alliance, Honorable Andrew. <laughs> Where Pastor Rabbi, Honorable Rabbi, said so eloquently, we thank you for being here, sir. He has come. I can see uh, his two vice presidents, Vice President Corey and Vice President Meeting, whom I can see, as well as their delegation.
please also allow me at this point to honor the mayor in this city we are, Honorable Governor. Thank you so very much. Um, I, I know that there is a delegation sitting behind Honorable Chamisa, as well as uh, I think part of his executive is there and other people as well. Um, allow me, most importantly, to honor uh, the Chagirai family who are here. Vanababa sitting right here. I can see five of them. Uh, then the siblings, Honorable Revai's siblings are sitting right there. Banama and Revai are also sitting there. We honor you. Bobo Changirai, I can see you sitting in the back there. <laughs> This morning. Allow me to paint a picture of our order of service this morning. Uh, we trust that you are ready. We are going to be managing everybody who will be speaking very tightly on time. The house will indulge me if I come in uh, and kindly remove a microphone from anybody who may be exceeding their time. They, uh, we do need to stick to time, and if you've been allocated a specific amount of time, please do not exceed that time under any circumstances. Thank you. We will proceed. the praise and worship we will proceed with our speeches after our speeches his grace bishop this man will come and address us and speak as a father in terms of what we need to do after bishop has spoken there will be our final body viewing before we proceed to glen forest memorial park for the internment process that we need to do this afternoon that, in essence, is our program. Is everybody okay? Do we understand that? All right. Allow me at this particular point in time to recognize a man who's a friend to us, and particularly his family, the Jala family that is here, and the Rabana Pasi family that is here. I have left them to the end for the sake of calling to this uh, uh, impact that we wanted to have in terms of recognizing a great man whose great wife we have lost. The Ramanapas family is here, which is where mom, Senator Chava hails from, she's here. I'm not sure oh, there she is, I'll start to see her. Let's start with Senator Chava this morning. I know we, we are all in pain, but mom and Pastor Nibai were very, very close. She's sitting there with her sisters, with Sanu Chilamai. I can also see Vanasa Guru, uh, Rabana Basi, there he is, the, the Java family is right here. I can see the pastors uh, in the Java family who are also seated there. God bless you. Thank you so very much for uh, being able to lead us such as you have. God bless you. Lastly, I want to acknowledge Apostle, Apostle Java. We are here to support you, sir, and we know your pain. We, 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 don't, we can't empathize, we can only sympathize. So God bless you and thank you. We pray that God strengthens you this morning. Let's give him a hand. We pray that God strengthens you this morning. 
Hallelujah. I think that that being said at this point, Sister Manuela, please can we proceed, or is it spirit praise? Can we please proceed with our praise and worship? And I will be back in a minute. Can we stand to our feet?
special request by the Apostle. I will just sing Yashan and Body one more time because this is the song uplifting him in this season. We join and sing Yashan and Allow me to recognize this 
Speaker of Parliament who has arrived. He is the one who leads the Parliament in which you are to Pastor Vibai used to serve him. He is actually also our first speaker, Honorable Advocate Budenda. Let's welcome him this morning. As I ask you, Honorable, please to come and present your remarks. Please be too kind to come. Let's honor him as he comes. Let's honor him as he comes this morning. Director of Ceremony, the Java family, the Sangirai family. President of MDC Alliance.
Lachile Gamba. Honorable Java was very inclusive. We don't use funerals to settle political schools. But not know we are Tonya Rara Simachi. Dr. Chakra Hakati Titisa Murail. Murail Woko are inclusive, tolerant, peaceful, appreciating the diversity we have in our country. Chondo Kumbira, Kanadir Mutunga Milway, Tese to Stere. Tese and Lakufara, Jamaita, and I'm struggling with what any other thing. Kanapana will have this. Jamaita Kuna Dr. Kupe. Wa wano fana kure mekez wa se munu akaseva nyekayeni. Murugu zinzu waka? Anisi unzu waki murugu ili ane ene elwa murugu da muri ane. Bacha kilo zia nesho kutika nda kucha ura emo terera. Dr. Kupe worked with Mbae. We worked with Dr. Kupe. I will defend her right to be here. If you are not able to be tolerant to Dr. Kupe, you are not able to respect me. And that we will not tolerate. And the Kukuranga even in my hands. Chita Isewana, Manotere. Moita Sewana, Manotere. The advocate Mudenda is here representing. Parliament of Zimbabwe, which is the sovereign parliament of our land. You don't contest and question our institution, the Nika. Because we are sure you will have your time to say your piece on behalf of this honorable woman who fought so hard for her country. Don't disrespect that contribution. Honorable sir, you have the peace of the place, the freedom of the environment to utter what you may wish including repeating the name of President Kunangagwa, who is the President of Zanopia. Thank you very much. statement by the president of MDC Alliance. What I simply wanted to say was we agreed with him that I must be here because Death comes once, the funeral comes once. So go and represent Parliament. In mourning, one of the members in Parliament, Rimbai. And it is in that context that I begin with those opening remarks. Fellow mourners, as we celebrate the life of Mimbai, let us look at the essentiality of the beauty of birth. Mimbai came into this world through the procreation process of her parents through the power of God who gave her the life to be here on earth. So as we celebrate her life, we must celebrate also her parents who brought her up, nurtured her, 
to be the Bimbai that we are celebrating today. And the first thing that she adopted when she came into this world, it was the adoption of the soil of Zimbabwe. Before her name, before a tribal nomenclature, before a political nomenclature. I'm trying to underline this to say we are first and foremost Zimbabweans. Zimbabweans. Nothing else. Zimbabweans. These other things follow afterwards. The adoption by her and all of us when we came into this world was in recognition that our final blanket is the soil of Zimbabwe. This is where we are going to put it back into the elements of the earth where all of us shall return as dust, going back to dust, according to the biblical teaching. I would want to say in Parliament she exhibited three distinct qualities which have got a biblical background. When the disciples of Jesus Christ were walking with him, he was ahead, and he had them contesting. And he turned around and said, what are you arguing about? And they told him, we are arguing about who is the greatest among us. And Jesus gave the first instru instruction on leadership. To be great, you must be like a child. Embrace the integrity of innocence. Embrace the integrity of humility. Embrace the integrity of dependence. Because the people you need are the ones who give you authority, are the ones who give us authority. The Mbai never forgot that quality in Parliament. And then he said, Number two, be the last and not the first. Always be the last. Lead from behind. Allow the people and their aspirations to lead you. That was the by in Parliament. People must come first. As our national constitution enjoins us, the authority to be in parliament and to make legislation is derived from the people. Once the people decide that you no longer represent our interests, they ask you to stand down. And that title of honorable goes away into the wind. The people have taken it back because it is theirs. The third element, 
be a slave. Be a slave. If you want to be the greatest leader, be a slave. And my understanding of that is serve the people. Be a servant of the people. And in Parliament, she exuded servant leadership, particularly in a committee of information and media and the committee on local government. Her death, therefore, must unite us. Her death must unite us. Her death must unite us. I go back to Mr. President of MTC Alliance when he stood next to me here. We must be inclusive. We must be inclusive. I appeal and pray to the spirit of Bimbai that from her grave she will enkindle in us, all of us, all of us, the spirit of national unity based on national consensus building. And this reminded me when I saw Vamnangakwa visit uh, Dr. Songirai when he was in his house. When I watched that video clip and uh, Advocate Shamisa was there to receive him, he was in the presence. And the lesson I learned that particular day is that if we are to be truly Zimbabwean with humanity, Ubuntu, we need to reach out to each other so that we can find each other as Zimbabweans. I believe that spirit of the late Dr. Zangira, which we celebrate through a daughter today, shall be reflected in our national politics. And don't forget, when the government of national unity was formed, Dr. Swanky Ryan did not look at positional politics. He looked at national politics. And what that would bring to the people of Zimbabwe. We enjoyed serenity of politics during the five days of GMU. That spirit must come back. That spirit must come back. That spirit must come back. And I pray to the church that the church must be on their knees each day of their lives and pray for the unity of the people of Zimbabwe. Let me address myself to Apostle Java, your friend, your bosom friend, has left you so early, so early. It is my hope that that little space, treasured space, somewhere in your heart will remain treasured for many more years to come. So that Vimbai, Vimbai can keep on smiling at you and the family and the people of Zimbabwe. God bless Vimbai. Famba Zagarnaka Vimbai. 
wakuruba cha kutandira mwari acha kutandira isuta sara tinoziva se yangwe vamwe wetu tiliwaroi tichatere We shall miss your smiling contribution in Parliament. We shall ever remember you. Do you know, Jane? Thank you, Speaker. Let's all of you as it steps down. The Speaker of our Parliament, Advocate Jacob Mutenda, thank you so very much for those encouraging remarks. Thank you very much. May I invite Isaac Mudwa, who is speaking on behalf of the Mudwa family, to come and uh, make his speech today. Thank you very much. Let's welcome him as he comes, please. This is a very difficult moment for, 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 for us. We could say this is a second Not too distant, in other words, just just under a month. Tagashai Kimwane Muningina Wedis, announced a father. Apparently, the Wangawa himself more than a Limbai, the guy who was an accident. Saka, you could attend the Luguti, I want to be in the same day. Because it would have been very difficult for us to handle the situation. We have to teach about Sukurari, Apa, Sukurari, Apa, Saka. Je <laughs> So this makes it very difficult and tense what it is when we want to move on. 
wasineta kushungidzira kuti ha pane here zvati siri kuita zvakanaka zvekuti sisi vashaya ine na accident munina wedu akabva kuratsiwa ine na accident iye zvinota kuratsika mushukuru in similar circumstances so you can see how difficult it is for us but again if we reflect back you will all agree with me but in my life people are shy in an accident vanga vachitoenda kuvhendwa kwa celebrate the unification in nika when the movement had agreed to go into the government of national unity with the ruling zanpia in other words zvakambopa osa reprieve in terms of my challenges are not face around as the country so similarly as advocate ndenda is just alluded to vimba ya dcia but how are we going to remember him don't we think this is an opportune time where we could actually take a similar route yanga ya torwa pakashaya mai vake eh zvasarirana kuna advocate zvinhu zvingazo tifata zvakanyanya kuti kwauti vari kutaurana kudenga because patanga utaura advocate ndenda vanhu vaita sekunge patsutsumwa zvakanyanya inzara saka zvaizona aka kuti pawanikwe zvinoitwa kuti nzara iyo ipere izvozvi izvozvi as of yesterday fuel prices went up Detari is also a team of politicians. Tirana Sekul, Wa, Wanipa. Sakata wani so omka na mudugu dugu. Wekuti titawe mupamberi pe vakuru. Eh kana matitendero kuti nongota chikumbiro. It's not like tiri ku challenge authority no but it's something worthwhile for the city because as one program za kada iso as but see it's not looking good at all in 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 actual fact it's frustrating saka as you can see with my emotions i'm not going to quit because we're not going to marry a good nurse mangwana i know so he wants to quit with us is uh, only the almighty knows when 
and how a person departs. In other words, Gatling and Richard was like a one. Mimbai and a pinam accident, which was very painful for him. Saga is still good to say, Mori, Mimbai and a Wadzua for a full month and it would not go on. Saga is also Mimbai as a Rora, is still good to see a Turakum Perigeza, says a Truki Daisoji, and hopefully Tiago Sangaropa no Sangana. But as a family, Turakum Tenda, I, I, I would like to, 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 to thank the entire uh, people who visited today, people who have actually come to mourn with us, that uh, you have given a, a befitting of us. And that uh, we are going to die, we are to die, as I had much earlier. So I can go now, I can tell you, 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May I kindly request, may I kindly request our press corps to please stay within the lines that have been demarcated for you and not to walk across here. Please stay within your lines and do not please walk across our front here. May I also please request all our speakers to stick to time. It will help us all a great deal. I know we have a lot we need to say. This is the place to pour our hearts, but we have to honor time this morning so that everything can proceed according to plan. At this point in time, please allow me to invite uh, Baba Kuru, the Honorable Rebai, Mr. Manasseh Jama. Please, can you come and address us at this point? Let's welcome him as he comes, please. All protocol observed till seven. Regarding uh, the it's not an easy road. Trugutar of Amsurpa in by Baba PM. The former the founder of NDC, Rachangirai, Dr. Richard Morgan Changirai, right there at IGT. Ah, Unashkwani Sai Shish. Unashkwani Sai Rish. And right there at IGT, I'm so good. Lana, never knew that we'd know Musanya and Tabiram Jose. As Pakutanga, Wachitanga, Musangano, and NDC, Wakatawa. Wakatunga ni za teza sefemini. Wakatundoo shatangu na kutititichi. So, vimbani, haka ita unge muna neno zela. Ndoku mbaate, haa, nichaona kutu ita sayi kutishifambeo shakanaka. And, achirorwa, na apostol Java, wa Java, hawa na kumila unzila yake, yekuti, I am the Rebellion of Wakutaite. Zaga Konaka Kanamuru Menet, my wife Sakotan. Like the Bible says in our nine chapter two, it speaks of shaking times. The Bible says, Thus says the Lord, I the Lord will shake the nations. So, these shaking times, there are trial times that we have to look to the Lord. Now, if shaking times comes, it can even come in the family like what it is happening now. The apostle has been shaken. The moon one has been shaken. The Ramanipath has been shaken. The Changrani has been shaken. The Jama has been shaken. The constituent has been checked. 
The candle is being shaken. It's all shaking times. But God is God in answer. After shaking that, we are reminded to look to God. After all these shaking times. Now, the body. You know, so it's time. Time can Good morning, everybody. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the authorities among us, the authorities of this nation, the people who were ordained and anointed by God Himself to be put in positions of authority. My, I first of all acknowledge the presence of the MDC Alliance, His Excellency. And all of these uh, lieutenants, I salute you. May I also acknowledge the presence of Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Dr. Advocate Mdeme. I salute you, sir. And all political parties, we have come to mourn 
my sister-in-law in Bati, I salute you. I also salute all my Chinjaes. I salute everybody who have come to mourn us, to comfort us, and to strengthen us. Everybody who is here, thank you, and I salute you. I would also want to thank from the bottom of my heart, on the behalf of the Java family, on behalf of my brother Apostle, my mother, my siblings, my uncles, the Rambalipasa family, and the Mungwa family. I would like to thank this man, Mr. Chirisa. He was there at the hospital from the day one. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the night with his wife, they were with us, comforting us, strengthening us. Say, I thank you. May God Almighty bless you in Jesus' name. I would like to talk about my sister, Lord Dr. Reza Rimbani. This lady was an angel. He was, she was an angel, this lady. My brother, we grew up with him. He was our apostle in our own house. He was the one who gave back to us pastors in our family. He was the one who gave back to Prophet Pasha, who is now known internationally it's because of this man. This man was an angel. His wife was an angel. His heart was always open from the time he was 14 years old when God called him into ministry. His main heart was always open and he's still open to his enemies, to his friends, to his relatives, to strangers. This man's heart is always open to keep, to love, to comfort, to change. Even my own children, they love him more than he loves me, than they love me. I salute you, Apostle. My name was she was always open to listen to people. She was even if there are differences in the family, she was always in the middle. To uniting everybody. Uniting everybody. She was also a mother to the MDC family. She was also a mother in parliament. She was a mother and a pastor. As she was always there to nurse everyone. My name is Mabu Rimbaba. Mufundi Rimbaba. Pastor Rimbaba. Honorable Rimbaba. You know, this is what you need. Today, you are in here. I'm crying for your departure, but I'm happy. You are in heaven and we are in Christ today because of your work, because of your dedication. It's not easy to be a pastor. Let me tell you, it's easy to be a politician because you can lie, but it's not easy to be a pastor because you have to stay in the position of Jesus Christ, and that's a challenge. So, my mom. Safe journey. One day we shall be with you in heaven. The Java family will be with you in heaven. Sit on the right hand of the Father in Jesus' name. Everybody, I salute you. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor Isaac. Thank you so very much. Allow me at this point to invite Honorable Pastor Levi Changira and Java's siblings to come and uh, be here with us on this stage. And we know that uh, the eldest brother Edwin will speak. Let's welcome them as they come. These are the brothers and the sisters. 
sister in law might be keen and is here as well. Just allow me to say all protocol observed. Today, we just want to say to you, we've lost one of our six. We are now five. I just want to strengthen my siblings. And I want to say to them, what I saw when I visited the hospital gave me a sense of preparedness for what has happened. I started to say, perhaps even if she comes out of this, we might not see a normal goodbye. And knowing my sister and her sense of strength, I don't know how she would have even taken it herself. So my sense of it is, or my solace, is that perhaps God, in his better judgment, decided to save the situation by taking her away from us. I accept that sovereign rule. And we just can say, but God, why? But we accept the decision. So, I just want to encourage the MDC family to look ahead, learn from it. She followed her mother's footsteps. She was pledging. She was not yet at a bloom. We don't know how she would have come out, but we know that she was making the right steps. She was a consulting person, and she was very inclusive, and she deported herself in such a way that she was humble to the people, and she allowed herself to connect with the people. I think she took strongly after her father. So, I just want to say to a particular to a constituency, as I said in Glenview, uh, carry on the good works that she was doing. I want to say to the TOG family, where she was mother to, be inspired by what she did. Learn the things she made, she added value on Learn her mistakes also and build from that. Make your church grow even bigger and better. I was having the word with Apostle and I think Apostle Zulu was also there. We were just talking about something and what crossed our conversation was, you know, one of the things that is not really happening a lot is we run so much as individuals, but we are not developing into institutional effectiveness. And maybe this is the stage, something that needs to be done and grown in the church. So we were just making a contribution, we were just having a conversation like that. Anyway, um, the other thing, this one now I want to speak to my brother in law. From the bottom of my, of my heart, I don't think my sister would have found a husband better than this. I think his patience, because my sister was a bit tough at times, his patience, tolerance, but also sometimes firmness, 
help the mind to sometimes understand how to be an effective wife and a helper. And also chaperoning her towards a better and effective Christian woman, operating in the particular things that she was doing, but understanding that God supports and this is how it can be guided and it can be effected. So, Apostle, I just want to say on behalf of the siblings and your Ambuya um, here, we thank you for having a loving heart to our sister. It's not easy, especially when you have to deal with other dynamics that I shan't mention here. But I just want to say, from us as siblings, you have our support. Take it from me uh, that you have my true support. Whatever needs to happen going forward, let us have the rapport that we've built over time, a good brother-in-law and son and intentional relationship. That, I want to say, you've been a respectful man to us. You know how to navigate, even how to say something in a way that communicates a message without offending. And I want to say that may God richly bless you. May God I don't even know what word I can use, but I want to say also, I think from what I've seen so far, you've got the right support network around you. And I want to encourage the kind of camaraderie I've seen around you guys, Dr. Chirisa, Dr. Chibia, um, Apostle Zulu, and your father. Bishop Christopher, I think you will recover. It will be a question of time. I don't know whether I can preach to you, but I've actually relied on you counseling me. So today I just want to say a little bit. Just may God continue to grant you the wisdom that you have exhibited and I don't know how it moves forward in terms of how church dynamics go on but my request is we just have a small symbolic recognition for my sister I don't expect much just this is the person who contributed to the TOG progress this was a role, and this is something we want to remember. So, I just want to say also, I think so far, I'm quite strong about it. I know there will be a time of breaking down, but for now, I think it's a time of gathering ourselves together and seeing the process through. So I thank you all uh, for all your contribution, all your participation, and all that you've done for my sister. On behalf of the siblings, I just want to say, guys, please be as strong as it requires you to be during these trying times. We, we thank you all. And I just want to say in Jesus' name, let the will of God prevail. Thank you. Thank you so very much to Honorable Java siblings. 
and for staying strong. Amen, somebody. And for saying, stay strong. Allow me at this point in time to invite to say a few things. The President of the MTC Alliance, Honorable Advocate Nelson Chalisa, to come and speak to us. As a father in the political space, we are honored to be a respect, sir. We welcome you all in this Thank you. Well, I'm actually shocked that uh, apostles and bishops uh, to stay now and the lower office as I always indicate and emphasize but bishop and we come so also we need to do so we are pass us is that because we are all asking us to buy you can I see that gesture do I know what this is when you see so Allow me at this juncture to do something that I would not have done. But because the devil is alive. You know, Kundira, may I ask the leadership, Yem Sangano, to come and stand with me. As we honor Comrade Ned, the Atawara Kakti, my standing committee members, other senior leaders, who are coming to help you, Ram Zuru Ekuno, Ram Wanzura Ekuno.
Allow me, without wasting time, to acknowledge champion of the cross, general of the faith, Bishop Judah Bismarck, the bishops here present, Abba Guru Pira, our apostles, the Goluptor Arama Sita was the one and asked, the anointing in the house is awesome. Makazara O the anointing. My prophets are the family now, including Prophet Fashion. Wow, that was a great kicker. No Rebecca is an official. No office on the in order because it's easier to be a politician in Arajara because you can lie. I don't think it's easier to be a pastor because you can lie and get away with it. That was the one man. But if you're a politician, if you lie, people will catch you. Go to the door, get ready, go to the door. I forget the speaker of Parliament. Murumeo is a unifier. I work with him in Parliament. He genuinely believes in Zimbabwe. But he's a comrade in the struggle of Chieta Bebe. And the Chamorro Kona Kuzata Kunyika Kana Kika Kui Chunga Mira Hai 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 Because a country is never a fire. A country is always variegated with various voices and various interests. Acknowledge them, appreciate them, honor them, and respect them. Now Dr. Kupe Takambo Ravana Hava But the comrade when you go to Chieta Bebe, when you go to Chieta Bebe, I honor you, Dr. Kumbe. Thank you very much. This time, I want to say, can I have you to come and meet me? We have the draft anointing and the draft side. Listen to what we tell you. That no one has come to our land. Now, so that we are in the middle, we will still have a speaker of parliament who must be acknowledged. We will still have a general in the army who must be respected. Who still have opposition that must be respected. Jump and tell them which guy, Magatongo, which will be who they own ship, so you can also ship. You can know who goes up. Tolerant. Tolerant. Dr. Kupe, once more, I salute you. You were my deputy, you were my prime minister when I was a minister. You were my vice president when I was your spokesperson, organizing secretary. That high heart is not broken. No, it was the camera in mind, it was the camera in Dr. Richard Morgan. Do you know who we are? Do you know who we are? No. As you know, I am going to go to the office and I am going to go to the office and I am going to go to the office and I am going to go to the office and I am going to go to the office. So we acknowledge them. That's why we are now going to run Zulu Gabi Akana Nama Monzora. Congress here comes from, but their seniority is not defined by Congress. Their seniority is defined by service. Oh, nice, I have a bag of this little person. This job does are not broad enough to carry this task. No Sanadan Kufaram Kaanam Skanam is being by to help us go forward. Singapore is going to be able to do it. 
leadership you say you know, my family is inside you know the Chagrai family, Mundua family, the Java family, the Ramana family. I honor you, I respect you. Look at me, clear. I'm hundred percent a product of Morgan Chagra. I honor Dr. Richard Morgan Changira. I also honor my Susan Changira. Musanya Bewa, Abuna Mumane, Bona Mumina, and Munga Mirasta is mine. Those are the chairman of the apostle. He told me that he is a man who was disorganized, but was organized in my job. But he is a man who had his own apostolic anointing. And by osmosis, that anointing went to my job. That's what a marriage should be like. A trading of the best of things in a marriage. We honor but my my sister Chagra. We thank you. Show for Dr. One day, you'll be there. But the most important thing in life is a thing called legacy. Legacy is what remains when we are away in life. And a lot of people don't think about their legacy. They think about the now. They enjoy now. They terrorize now. But they forget that when they are gone, their terrorism is going to be a symbol of their bad words. The Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, the days of all men, the ways of all men came upon death. Because Akuna Jeruma Anofa, can a prophet Anofa? That's why we don't have Elisha. Even the Son of Man had to die. The only thing the Son of Man did different is to resurrect and give us life. But Kufamra Wamari, Rukodo Yabatu Furana, Wutese, Musaka Mudurai, where it is in us, she is actually ready to glory. Iwe Duwasa, the only thing is that can also have come to like Jesus. Uruwa Matunga, where in Yika? Uruwa Matunga, where in Mali? Uruwa Matunga, where in Mali? You are lost. But this is a reminder of where you are going. Those are the truths I mean, we might. Now, those are the truths I mean, we might. I wish I could take them. Hey, it's not the way I want to take them. You know, this is a country that they need to live in so far. Yes, I need to take them. We take them for the salvation. Why did I? The Torah got two things. Why did you buy that? And who was she? Now, it's not that she was a mother of all and many families. And I remind the TOG family. She was a mother of the MDC family. She was a mother of the Java family. She was a mother of the Rabat Papa's family. She was a mother to the Mundwa family. She was a mother who constituents power. And every time I do that, I can only use my attitude to mother. Can I only do my attitude to Papa? Here you can come to one who did I need to Papa. So, if you don't get a chance to go to work, I will not be given. 
I will make a Zawasani. That is the woman. What is it? As if you could not have a car for the accident. Two minutes. When you are a president, you decree. <laughs> the atmosphere changes. Most of you are using the prophetic power. Two things are going to My job is a fact accident. But don't you have a reminder, advocate to them, of the seriousness of the challenge we are facing in this country. It's no longer a job to matter. Our roads are too narrow for human use. Our roads are too unworthy. Our roads are not fit for this set of things. You will never hear a hero who is quite a head on. Head on is a primitive form of accident because the roads are too narrow. Cars must face the same direction. When you look at the company and the design, so that all of us go to the world as a bit, we must move. Take them a double legs, my spaghetti box. That way! Not only that, Malik has not served most of the dogs. That's what I'm saying. Zirimo, they're for them. They are fair of Bedroom, Bashi for Blower, ask the dogs. Me, oh my God. We must fix that. Argument. We must fix it. This is a collective effort. That's why I love to come on to Naga. And I must say this, but just allow me to say it. That I got to put on you, that I got to be able to get no more. That will hold on. The only way we are going to move this country forward is when we are able to sit around the table and have a negotiated understanding of the dispute. Politically related. <laughs> She represents the power of unity. I tell 
unite with the people. Kuna wana waanga wanjaita ma MP BNG. Aka wale gerera. Power of forgiveness. Aire gerera. The power of humility in leadership. Those are either. She was a humble lady. You do not know the one who present. president. She was campaigning. Bula oil. They are just not on the camera. They are not on the Those who come from the royal blood shall not live like servants. But she didn't do that. She had to humble herself. In the process, became a victim. And we salute her for that. Mashoko iwa ya na chahura. Mbai. Waka pata basa. Waka gumisi za wa Secretary General of Matt Mike. The highest honor we can ever have in our party. To serve at the highest level. Waka pata basa rako. Isut chai na mberi. Ne project. Chachino ziwa ni chepo kuna mwari kudeni. Panyi kando pa newani. Hakuna time ya chumu chineke chashika ino kuna kumiswa ni mungu. God's idea cannot be derailed or sidetracked. It's not that to marry what you want to do with our country shall be healed. This shall be a great country. But unity is important. Working together is important. Being inclusive is important. Tolerance is important. Even those who we differ with. In fact, light is in better peace if it is able to live side by side with darkness. And that is what our direction is. May God bless you. Mimbai, Baba Kuzi Swakanaka. Koma Jawa, Chenge Twai, Mwamai, God bless you. Machinja, let's give our hero the honor and the send off. Our members of parliament, thank you for what you did. Our councillors, thank you for what you did. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. You are special, our mayors, we love you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. At this point in time, I would I like to ask our media team to play for us a video clip about the life, the work of Honorable Pastor Limbai Java. Let's pay our attention to the screen. Thank you. before the age of 18 years. Now, this is a major concern, um, and I feel it's unfair uh, for women, um, the whole world. I don't think this is fair on women. Um, and when we look at our Zimbabwean context, it's even worse. Uh, marriages, they, they start as far below as 16 years of age. Um, I don't think this is fair, and I don't think that as women, um, we should allow this to happen in our nation. Um, let children be children. 16 years, children are still young. 
they need to grow up. I was given the opportunity and the chance to grow up and make the, the decision of getting married at an age, at an age that I felt it, I was mature enough. And after being, after going to school and after my education, that's when I felt that it's time for me to get married. Now, 16 years, you've not, you've maybe barely completed your all levels. You, 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 you haven't gone to your A's, you haven't gone to university. You know, there's so much, so many opportunities as a woman that I feel that 16 years is still very, very young. I condemn this unjust. This is unjust. This is criminal. And I think people who do this must be brought to justice. People who do this must be brought to justice. Um, I offer myself to assist women who are going through this cha these challenges. I know there are women going through gender-based violence. I, there are women, some of them, they can't say it out because maybe they feel that if they speak, um, they are going to be targeted. So you can get in touch with me if you want help. If you want us to talk woman to woman, you can get in touch with me via Facebook or via Twitter. Honorable Mbai Changirai Jawa was born in a family of six siblings and being the eldest daughter to the late Morgan Richard Changirai and Susan Changirai. She was born on the 25th of July 1983 and later on got married to Apostle B. Jawa, who she was married to for the past eight years. Honorable Mbai studied Urban Development and Planning at Newcastle University in Australia. And as she did this in the background, she would help her father in the political arena. She then joined official politics in 2018 after the death of her father to continue on with the legacy. Through her short political career, she became a member of parliament for Glenview South constituents. And at the time of the tragedy, she was voted in as the Secretary General for the Women's in the MDC Alliance. A pastor and mother to Tabernacle of Grace Church, where she led with great conviction and spearheaded a great evangelistic drive. A truly anointed pastor, respectable businesswoman, and a leader of integrity. May the soul of Honorable Vibai Changirai Jawa rest in eternal peace. A kaleidoscope of a, of a life well lived. Let's give that a hand as we salute our mother, our pastor, our parliamentarian, Honorable Java. Allow me at this stage, let us please stand as I invite Apostle Java to come and address us this morning say a few things about what is on his heart. Apostle B. Jala, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. You may all be seated. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. I wanted my wife
to go with a befitting send off. Thank you, thank you, and again I say thank you. It was a tough four weeks, the most difficult season of my life. And I say to God, God, though you have slain me, I have no choice and nowhere to go. I'll praise you. She is at peace. When she died, I was there. She didn't fight. She didn't kick. She didn't jack or roll. She was at peace. She was really at peace. A week before the accident, she came to me and said, Apostle, I feel like whenever you caught the issues of forgiveness and bitterness, you will be talking directly to me. I have forgiven. One, two, three, I have forgiven. When I come back from Bulueyo, I want you to help me see a few people and ask for forgiveness, telling them that I have forgiven them and I used to carry them, not in the good or the best of way, in my heart. And I said, goodbye. You are now born again, like you had to be born again. What cut me so deep was that in my last conversation with her, the day before the night, she lost speech and her cognitive ability. Mbayakaditi, how was church? That Thursday was good. That what did you preach? I narrated. She doesn't know you left some. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you, Apostle. You are a great preacher. When you preach tomorrow, the following day was supposed to be Sunday. A day after that, after that day was supposed to be Sunday. I said, come and tell me what you may have preached. I told her that you won your seat or your position as the Secretary General for Women. She ignored that and came back to what she knew that I love. What she knew I would do. What I live for. I love this woman. Oh my heart. I love her so much. I don't want to ask God questions without wisdom. I don't want to ask God questions without fearing him. I don't know. Thank you all for loving me. Thank you all of you. Even those who were obliged and were tied to submission to the authorities to come here. I don't care. You being here is pure gold to me for your sake. May God bless you, Riva. May God bless your family. All of them, everyone who was connected to you by blood or by other virtues. Thank you, everyone. Let's go and bury it with passion, with an emotional connection, and send it off respecting you. Because that is the way she would have planned. Please allow me to come and address us today, uh, Apostle and Mom, Vibai's Father in the Spirit, His Grace, Bishop Chula Mishma. Let's welcome him today as he comes. Come and address us. Let's welcome him.